Hi, this is Mike Larson for Money & Markets TV. I've been saying for months now that the European economy and banking system were in grave danger. And now, the world's top economic forecasters, credit ratings agencies, and industry trade groups are finally joining me in sounding the alarm. For example, just look at the latest report from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development. It warns that, quote, the risk is increasing of a vicious circle involving high and rising sovereign indebtedness, weak banking system, excessive fiscal consolidation, and lower growth, end quote. The group also said these problems could, quote, spill over outside the euro area with very serious consequences for the global economy. The OECD now predicts that, European, that the European economy will shrink slightly this year, a reversal from its previous forecast for growth of two-tenths of a percent. Spain's economy is expected to slump 1.6%, Italy should contract at a 1.7% rate, and Greece will plunge 5.3%. Growth in Asia is also likely to slow as China decelerates. But as bad a state as all these economies are in, the European banking system has it even worse. Consider this week's report from the Institute of International Finance. Now, the IIF is one of the largest global trade groups for banks, representing more than 400 top financial firms. So if anything, it has an incentive to downplay the risks of a European debt market collapse. Yet the group warned that Spanish banks alone are facing total loan losses of up to 260 billion euros. That means those institutions could need another 60 billion euros of capital to absorb losses, money the government simply can't afford to inject into the system without torpedoing its own finances. Meanwhile, Moody's Investor Service just slashed its ratings on 16 Spanish banks by up to three notches after a similar cut on 26 Italian banks. Moody's explained the cuts by saying, quote, banks will continue to face highly adverse operating and market funding conditions that pose a threat to their creditworthiness. The simple truth is that the European crisis is deepening by the day, and many European banks are taking on water and sinking beneath the waves. Plus, it's growing ever more likely that the crisis will spread from Europe to the rest of the world, just like our credit crisis did a few years ago. That's why I believe you simply have to take steps to protect your hard-earned money. I show you how to do just that in the new report I produce with Weiss Ratings, called Winners and Losers in the Great Global Banking Crisis of 2012 to 2013. I believe this report will prove to be an invaluable tool in these troubled times. I'm Mike Larson for Money and Markets TV. Thanks for watching.